Mic check, mic check. Mic check, mic check. Cool. Awesome. Let's do a couple more things and we'll be good to go. I'm not sure how long we're going to be streaming tonight. Honestly, I'm not doing so well. Mike needs a check cut out for all those femboys they purchased. At a discount. Mike's discount femboy emporium. Oh, what the shit? That's what I forgot to do. I never added Femboy back to my tags. I'm dumb. There we go. Fixed. Yeah. I forgot to put Femboy back in my tags for Twitch. You joke, but that actually got a lot more hits than a lot of the other shit I have on there, under my tags. People really want that Fembussy, you know? I wonder why it's so popular. All these fucking wires. Yeah, for some reason. I have no idea why. No idea why. time to figure out who the guiltiest gear really is. The guiltiest gear of all time. Hello everyone. Welcome tonight to the Lost Time Show. I'm sorry I was a little bit late this evening. The host was quite busy today. They are not having the best day at all, in fact. Not that I would know anything about that. After all, I can't see most of what they're doing. That would be creepy, and I'm not that creepy. 
right? Y'all don't think I'm that creepy, do you? No game audio. Fuck. What about now? Good. Awesome. Looks like we have game audio now. I'm not in creepy, I just take an interest in the lives of people you care about. Really? I heard that Jeffrey Dahmer did that also. <laughs> yes, tank. Um, that was actually the custom intro scene I had to get the gear set up. It's a mod. One of many mods, in fact. I know, right? Mm -hmm. I have a feeling that this is going that the intro of Guilty Gear always is going to get blocked by Twitch nowadays because for some reason they've been doing that lately. So I might have to switch out the tile screen for something else in the near future. But we'll see. It doesn't seem to happen all the time. Alright. Welcome to the stream, Dakuro. Dakuro, Seal, and Knight of the Garden are here today. Awesome. <laughs> How do I play this game again? Shit. Let's go hang out in the park for a bit. Get some warm-up done. Get some warming up done. I will be in our voice chat if anyone would like to stop by and play a few FT3s. By the way. So just let me know. Because I've been told that apparently the servers are still not fixed for this game, so... Who knows what our... Experience is going to be like today. But hey, at least all the servers are full. Hopefully this connect connects. It does not connect. Yep, this is definitely the guiltiest game of all time. This is certainly a guilty gear of all time. The guiltiest game of all time. This person left. I wish there was a way for us to tell which of these things was like broken or whatever. Thank you for the hydrate redeem, Vemboy. And the throw redeems. Yes, all the throw redeems. Just cover my face and throw redeem. Full, just cover my face with your throw redeems. No, I did not offer any explanation for what I meant by that. Oh shit. Thank you for the headpats. I dare say I could use some headpats tonight. Oh fuck. Oh, oh god. Okay, 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 you've made your point. Thank you for the headpats. Thank you for giving me something to eat in our gar night, our Esther. So yeah, I'm finally trying out this flavor of gamer subs that I got a couple weeks back. 
It is, um, apparently it's called, and I quote, Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000. Thank you That's for the more headpads. Terrible. Yeah, it is terrible, actually. But hey, um, that's what uh, I've never. What's the name of this uh, streamer that named it again? There, it's some he's some uh, some big streamer or person. Oh, hey, Steel. I'm gonna say that Welcome. doesn't sound like uh, one of those terrible drinks that I end up liking. Like when my friend made uh, cayenne kombucha. What the hell is cayenne kombucha supposed to have uh, pepper in it? Yeah, it's hot as hell. Oh. I've tried pepper-based drinks before. They're okay, I guess. They're supposed to be thermogenic or whatever, because there's this theory that adding cayenne to drinks and whatnot is supposed to increase your body temperature by a little bit, which is supposed to translate to more calorie burn. I think there is actually a correlation, but it's so small that it's not really effective for weight loss or any shit like that. But if you no, like the taste of... It's mostly for, like, working out. Mm -hmm. When we were kids, we made a drink called Duke of Normandy. If you guess the recipe, if you get a f win a free hitbox. I don't know anything about Norwegian. Or, not Norwegian. I don't know anything about French history. Wait, Normandy is France, right? Yeah, because that's for the beaches. Yeah, Normandy Beach. This is definitely the guiltiest gear of all time, Arxis, I love you, but I don't understand how fucking adding the Xbox community to crossplay magically destroys three-fourths of your fucking servers, dude. Like, how? Why do the fucking Xbox players have to fuck up everything again? I kid, it's not the Xbox players, it's whatever, whatever they did to, whatever they did to, um... To cro add crossplay. Yeah, all their other games work too, because all the Strive streamers are playing gray and blue. Well, isn't that nice? They just they just quit Strive when they can't get games in and swap to gray and blue. It's not even that I can't get games. It's just that I have to. It's like every other. It's like every four people that I try to play against, it actually goes through. And I'm fairly sure it's because these little things that we're going to to get games, these are like individual servers in themselves. So that's why some of them work consistently and others don't, right? But usually when you get to this screen, the game's supposed to work. So now I'm wondering, like, why are people... Dying when they get to that screen. Is something crashing there too now? Uh, when I get to that screen and it doesn't display the connection, I wait until it displays the connection. So it might be them waiting to see how bad it is before deciding to join the match or not. I presume it's not the case for this guy because if that were the case, they wouldn't have tried to challenge me to a battle a second time. See, this one doesn't even work flat out. Yeah, I mean, this uh, Guacamole Gamer Fart 9000 is not too bad, but there's another one called titty milk or something that's supposed to be excellent, but I just can't get past the name. The name's fucking dumb as shit. It's all I'm gonna think about is her dur, you're sucking this, uh... streamer's tits for milk, and I'm just like, you know, I understand the joke, and it's it's not working for me, Chief. Sorry, I, I, I just, I can't, I, it's, there's some jokes that just don't land for me. Yeah, you know what? You're not the first person to tell me that Blowhole Blast is supposed to be, and I quote, painfully mid. Which is... Yeah, I'm almost so starting to wonder, how do they determine 
these na- I'm assuming this streamer that's promoting them is the one that made up the name, right? Do they also decide on the flavor or something? Do they be, are they like oh are they like oh what's your play, flavor profile or some shit like that? Uh, I only know how G Fuel sponsorships work, but that's how they did it. I'm not strong enough for these sippies. I don't blame you. Like uh, within reason, like the the Fortnite chug jug flavor had to like sort of be a blue flavor. Gatorade flavor. It, yeah, it's not like it's gonna be like strawberry or something. I'm not strong enough for these sippies. Lawler in game yo. Where? Where? Where do you see me? Stremmer helps to make up a name and submits a few of their favorite flavors. They just punch in the artificial flavor codes into the machine and hope for the best. Are you fucking serious? They don't even bother to test to taste if the concoction they made tastes any good? Fix the servers. Fail to match with opponent. Isn't that a mood? This person's already played a hundred games as freaking... Bed man, as freaking bed. Take two, Lawler. If you had a themed drink, what would it be? That's a good question. Come. Um, come is too easy. I'm sure that more than more, at least one of those streamers who currently has a drink with Gamer Subs has tried that joke before, and I'm sure Gamer Subs has been like, you know, as much as we love bullshit, unfortunately, we legally cannot actually name our drink come because well, it would get breast milk, don't they? They do, but in our society, breast milk is politically correct, but not manseed. <laughs> Maybe if they name it manseed, it'll pass because... Yeah, that's exactly what it's called. It's actually called Schlatt's Titty... Something fucking... I, I don't fucking know. Just saying the name is making me want to... Fucking delete myself from the court from the from the course of this era. I'm gonna I'm gonna freaking reincarnate in the year 2030, and hopefully by then they will still have weird names, but they will not involve bodily processes. We live in a society that means selling point is is a sticker. Digital trip. Yeah, that's true. Now as for my theme drink, um, I'm probably gonna be a basic bitch, and probably name it something like System Crash or something. Us assuming that I can get away with that and I'm not going to get sued by the developers of the tabletop RPG system crash. Or something, something cyberpunk, some, something that's a cyberpunk reference for sure. And as for my favorite flavors, I would prefer it to be so, the sort of thing that you drink that actually makes you wake the fu makes you wake up. Um, so probably something really citrusy. But, um... Hmm. This is making me think of what if I were a cocktail, what would it be now? And honestly, uh, I don't know. I would actually think about this. We live in a society. And a society has rules. And rules are meant to be broken. Oh, finally! We found a server that works. Yeah, baby, we're fighting. It's Kara Name El Bed. And the user is Fix the Servers. He is a Celestial player, or they are a Celestial player. This is certainly going to be the games of all time. Chat. It took us around good, um... Seven minutes to even get a server. That's an up overhead? Which one? The, this one. Oh, of course it's overhead. It's basically similar to um, to uh, Big Band's move from Skullgirls. Oh, that that's his JH. Yeah, that thing. Kill your friends, guilt free.
Oh, fuck you. Well, I guess he would be able to grab from that distance because he's just so huge. He's basically like a Faust in that regard. That move is also an overhead. The slap. What? Why did he choose to do that from that distance? Oh, because it powers up his projectiles too. That's beautiful. Lawler, why are you constantly doing opening with JH? Well, I don't know. Maybe because of his fucking projectile moves. Uh, who am I kidding? I'm actually doing really shit right now because it's my first game in the evening and I'm not in a great mood. Okay, Cat's Head, Snacky's consuming with slumber. Nighty night, everyone. Thank you for coming, Aster. Have a good night. Kill your friends. Kill free. I don't know why I keep the opening with that, but okay. I mean, it takes me. I'm kind of hard headed. It's going to take me forever to learn my lesson. Huh. I can 6 H him. Awesome. Huh? What the fuck was that? Get off me, Jesus Christ! Wouldn't let me grab. I let go of block. Did a little bit better that time, actually. Oh no, I'm getting flashbacks to Happy Chaos. Bruh. Please, fuck off. Hmm. It's also a strange delay where, for whatever reason, it's going straight to the load screen. It's taking a little bit to get to the load screen. Nice grab, actually. I heard that supposedly someone found an unwinnable matchmup with Bedman already, and I don't know if it was unwinnable for Bedman or unwinnable for whoever the unlucky bastard was. I wonder what character is that it is. Is it video? No, I don't know. I just saw a reference to it. I don't know what video it was. Okay, I was gonna say the Sajam video, the unwinnable matchups is the servers. Okay, that's just funny. Sajam is based and red pilled. This goes to show you that even good players sometimes get caught by the fucking slide more than once, more than twice. But he's probably not going to let me do that again. One time is embarrassing enough. Why did I go for... I don't know why I did the input for a command grab just now, but you know what? Oh, for fuck's sakes! I keep forgetting that he can do that right after that move. Kill your friends. Kill free. What the fuck was... Really? I mean, in in all honesty, it's been two days. I don't think anyone knows any of the matchups. No, of course not. It's just someone pull are saying shit. I'm sure for either Twitter or YouTube views. It's probably a YouTube views. They always like to exaggerate shit. Besides, like the fact that having a good projectile makes you good against Potemkin. I mean, I don't think anyone knows the. The actual matchups yet. 
Yeah, I'd have to be able to play against players to figure that out anyway. So far, I would say that as far as annoyances go, I wouldn't mind fighting against Bedmans or Bedmans so far. The few Bedmans I've played against. Certainly an overwhelming character, but I don't know. Maybe I just haven't played against a truly disgusting Bedman yet. Um, I do know that um, if he gets positive bonus, uh, there's like an overwhelming near infinite block string he can get. Well, that's shit. But that's just, uh, I mean, you have to get positive bonus and then you have to put them in the corner after getting positive bonus, which a lot of characters can do. Yeah. Him annihilating people from the corner is nothing new as far as Tribe is concerned. God damn it! The absolute confidence it takes it neat that people have to try and grab people out of fucking everything. I wonder if I can do the corner combo with Bedman. He's pretty much large enough. He's large enough and has enough health enough, I think. Yeah, he's... Bedman's got good uh, risk cranking. Yeah. yeah. So I'm increasingly finding that a lot of the basic uh, DPS and co corner combo stuff I've been learning doesn't work against super light characters. They either miss or they die way before you get to the wall break point. I might open up some open lobbies later tonight if anyone wants to play. Be given the nature of the servers. Because at least player servers have a higher chance of actually working. Are player lobbies peer-to-peer? -peer? I don't know, to be honest. All I know is they uh, work. I mean, they have rollback, so there has to be like something on the server, right? Yeah. In my experience, Bedman has some sick, nasty pressure capabilities, but has terrible Abare. Fair. Kill your friends. Guilt free. Ayo? This Bedman likes grabbing so much, holy shit. I can't even complain, given how many times I like to grab. I also like this stage. It's kind of nice, it's kind of aesthetic. Okay, fuck off. Please, stop with a- God damn it! God damn it, Bobby! <laughs> you gonna fucking teabag, bitch? <laughs> I'm not even mad. He deserved a tea- He- he- he deserved a teabagging. Shit. Honestly, I really like Bedman's insane design. He's really fun visually to fight against. It's very refreshing, I guess. No, that's just a thing you get into after playing Bedman. I played like an hour of Bedman and just started abusing throw for some reason. <laughs> I can't believe Bedman is actually a zoner grappler character. Wow. A zoning grappler. I mean, uh, my excuse is I play Kai, so run up grab is in my blood. Run up grab is the cancer that is killing uh, May mains, clearly, or at least just me, because I am trash. See, he doesn't want to share. He gets to grab all the time, but I'm not allowed to grab. This is... No, I have seen through your... God damn it. <laughs> oh my god. Bedman. 
I too can counter. Whoa, uh, hitting him just then made his, uh, that RNG attack that he has not come out for some reason. I thought it was like a projectile, I thought it was like a projectile similar to like Jacko's, um, friends. RNG attack? That thing where his head sometimes falls off and explodes. I thought that oh, was some... The, the error states, um, if you get them to block or get hit, uh, it'll delete the follow-up. Yeah, I was surprised it did that. I thought it was... I thought it was going to be like other projectiles where it's it's once it's out it's out. Ah, for fuck's sake! The grab is amusing. I'm going to give him that. I I enjoy watching the grab. It's the same reason why I'm not. I don't get that. I'm not actually not. I don't actually get angry at Potemkin Busters that often, because it's always a pleasure to watch the Potemkin Buster animation. Or at least the divine one. No. God damn it. I just realized he has a crown, technically. Is that a fucking overhead? Why does that hit? Uh, that's his dust. I know, why does the dust hit? Um... Uh oh, were you not blocking? I was Andy? blocking the whole time, so, like, I'm assuming it must be an overhead or something because I was blocking load the whole time and that was the only hit yeah, all, move to hit. All dusts are overheads. Speaking Dust of overheads, the, it's the universe. Fucking overhead. shit. Sunning tells me I need to use dust more often. The only time I consistently use dust these days is either to jump dust over people or to trip them. Hey, don't grow. That has big uh, Kai energy. <sighs> I mean, I'm that's so... basically just uh, canceling Stun Dipper. I'm so glad I was able to pull it off. I can pull it off consistently now. Doing the uh, going from 2D to Orca. I used to be trash at that, and I'm still kind of am, but at least I can do it in a god fucking damn it. Ah! It's good to know that 6H still kills, or still hurts people, as intended. Ah! For Ah, it's game. Or is it? You know what? No. Um, I need to stop doing such risky grabs. That was definitely... That was... I feel... I'm kind of embarrassed for, by that one. Is Batman the new Kyle? Oh my gosh! You killed Kenny! You bastard! Ow, crap. Ah. Ah. Oh, what a terrible burst. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay, that's great. That move he has uh, he has with uh, slamming the ground reminds me a lot of Potemkin's um, hammerfall. All right, so two three six S isn't a low, but his two H where he turns into a car, that's a low. So you could two H Roman cancel, and then either dust or two three six H. Oh, man. He exploded. That thing fell off and exploded me in mid-air. Pog. Oh, here we go. He's doing the Naragoryuki thing. God 
got you. Finally, Jesus. Did he just explode Delilah? She like vanished. What the fuck? Oh, there she is. I yeah, was about Delilah to say. Delilah has an attack where uh, she turns into a bomb and she dies in the game. Bruh. And then she doesn't appear for the rest of the match. Bruh. That's a fabrication. I don't believe you. I think I'm going to be waiting for Bedman to be doing this suicide bomb attack now. It's Guilty Gear. That's totally the sort of thing that Daisuke would put in this game. You kidding? No! You will not kill me with that! <laughs> okay, finally. One out of eight. That was pretty good. <laughs> should I play him again, chat? Do you think I should play this Bedman again? We'll cap it off at ten, at 10 games. First to 10. Nah, I'm gonna find someone else to fight. Uh. Oh, he fucked. He uh, ran away already. Indeed, absolute sicko behavior. And I am only the sickest of sickos. I, I don't know where I was going with that, and I have no explanation for, my for that either. Ah, shit! You were hiding there in the, in the darkness, weren't you? So, um, yeah... Uh, I feel like my blood pressure is going to rise even more if I, the longer I remain in park. Does anyone want to play some games? Yeah, I'm happy. Alright, all right, fuck it. Let me go uh, set up a room code. Thank you for the hydrate redeem and the head pats. Let me get out of here. And set up a room, and then that's going to be open to pretty much everyone oh. that's currently in chat. Gamer pride. Yes, thank you. I need my head, my daily head pats and my, my uh, daily uh, homosexuality. I might have to turn my mic off because it sounds like my neighbors are going to start killing each other again tonight. That's fine. Oh no, it appears that my the room code for the room is on the screen. Oh no, what are we going to do, chat? Ah! Kidding. I'm going to attack. I'm going to be adding this to the uh screen anyway I wonder why they decided to change the room code system from a combination of letters and numbers to just numbers oh shit where's the room code you can't even fucking see it can you oh shit my bad uh, let me change the coloration of it There we go. Augers. Ow! Who, who goes there? Me, I stopped changing my name so you wouldn't get scared. Why do you keep changing your name anyway? Just for the memes? Uh -huh. It's funny. Thank you, Vemboy. I'm the kind of guy that has to... I have to change my nickname and profile picture every, like, two weeks. Og. So there's the room code. Anyone, if you would like to hang out with, to play a video with us, feel free to pop in. I don't care if you're celestial, or a floor, or the or a floor one. Everyone is welcome. Vemboy, thank you so much for pinning the room code. I appreciate that. I hope that's right because I was a room boy when I was squirting. Yeah, Squ that's correct. Squinting. Yeah, that's correct. He was squirting in the other room. My God. 
Getting yourself ready for me, I see. Uh, uh oh. Okay. Kill your friends. Ew. -ew. I don't know the name of this track, but this is one of my the earliest Guilty Gear tracks I've ever heard, and I always thought it was great. Uh, it's Be Just or Be Dead. It's Kai's XX theme. Okay. Yeah, I really love this theme. It just goes hard. When I first heard it, I thought it was a Castlevania theme, though. Ayo? Wait, what was that? Were you char was that a charge or? Which one? That one you did before I did the uh, up dolphin, where you like blinked or something, and it sounded like you were making a charging noise. Um. Oh, blinking is error six e. Oh, okay. So when I've got a follow up attack charging. Oh. Oh, I see. The electrical thing is also a follow up attack. It's not a. You don't actually control that. Well, you can detonate it manually, so you can. Activate it immediately or delay it. I see. You know what? There are other games, like, um, I think Undernight was like this too, that you have Undernight and Melty Blood type Lumina have these, where you have, like, support characters running around in the background. And those always annoyed me because I didn't know where, when, they would attack. Right? Just like, out of nowhere, right? And I know that's a feature of the character. It's supposed to be... It's supposed to keep you on your on your toes and stuff, but I always got unnerved by facing those kind of players. Because it's just like, great. There's, so there's another thing that I have to wait, that I have to be aware of that could attack me, that I cannot attack back. Oh, I hate to mistime that. Oh, shit! Woo! Get thrown. I need something to beat Dolphin. Mm -hmm. You could probably just punch the Dolphin. I need a good move. Oh, okay. Because his, um... I mean, when I see it coming, I can catch it with 5p, but... His 6p is kind of slow and easy to whiff punish. I just had a very newbie brain blast moment. I remember when I first started playing Guilty Gear Strive and someone vaguely said or suggested using dust attacks against blocking against people who were blocking too much and I never really knew why. That was the case, and you telling me, and you mentioning that dust is a universal overhead suddenly made that make a lot of sense. And now I feel really dumb for not realizing it. That's okay. Most characters don't have to use their dust, but Kai is. Ow. Most characters, it's a meme, but it's pretty viable use as Kai with Kai. I mean, May has a viable dust too, but it's just I don't know. It's. I find it awkward no, like, to use. May has more like universal like bullshit moves you can use. That's true. I feel like I think I might be spoiled in the sense that May doesn't really have bad moves in her kit. She just oh, has shit. moves that are. I didn't mean to do that. She just has moves that aren't as effective. More or some moves are just more effective than others. But some people I think are complained that their characters have moves that are just outright. I don't know. I used to think that no maze did slides, and then I fought against actually good maze and found out that it's not so much that slide is bad, it's that I am bad. Ow. 
Ow, 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 ow. Oh, shit. Nice. Ah, I wasn't able to get out the special. Bad. Cancer, even. Hey, Dakuro. Welcome to the lobby. I could have sworn I red bursted a uh, red RC just there, but it didn't go. Ah! Ow. I'm approach slow. I am approaching you. That's just guard. Ow! 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 Shit! Ow! Shit! Crap. Oh, crap. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That was a miss input. All right, let's get a game against Dakura now. Do you want to play him first, or should I? Um, it's up to you, Dakura. <laughs> Square up. All right, go ahead and get in the observe in the um observation thing, and let's see how Dakura plays. Hey, okay, we're the same floor. It's been a while since I met another floor eight person. Do 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 Push the stick that pushes back and feel your pain. And here's one that most unbelievable all that says Killed your friends. Guilt-free. Yeah, the dialogue boxes are kind of fucked up right now. So I have not had any idea what... What, uh... Bedman's been saying this whole time. Oh shit! Will it kill? The answer is yes. Kill your friends. Kill free.
killed your friends guilt free your friends guilt-free. Up. I need to slide. Uh. No. friends guilt free
fucking up my inputs. Oh well, GG's. <laughs> Still, you're up. If you want, I mean. Yeah, let me, um... Let me just swap to a character I can actually play. Cool, cool, cool. Damn, how long is this ad break? Oh shit, there's an ad break going on? Yeah. They're set to three minutes per hour. Yeah, that at... entire set was during an ad. Oh, uh, garbage. Kill your friends. Guilt free. The Kuro is decent. I don't know who he usually means. Or who they usually mean, my bad. It occurs to me that the previous, the first, the first, um, bed I fought tonight never used that rocket move that Takuro has been using. I'm curious now how that works. Which one? The one where their, um, chest opens and they just fire this, like, explosive thing out of it. Oh, that's the follow-up for the spinny. Oh, okay. It's kind of wild how close Delilah is to you when you're show when you shove Ben in the corner. Are you? Your charged fireball went through their spike. Huh. Yeah, um, charged stun edge has five hits. I see. Which means it beats basically all projectiles. Hmm. Fly. Nice. Oh my god, he actually carries Delilah with her when he... I guess that makes sense, actually. Let's dance. No way. This is certainly the bed of all time, chap. You here? I'm still here. No, Dokoro. Oh. There they are. Okay. It's the first time I've landed that. Oh, 
shit. It looks like your memes have ended here. Good job. Checking the opponent's connection. How is Darker having connection issues? Am I? I honestly can't tell. Connection's been lost. It shows that you're both here still, including myself, so I don't know what the fuck is going on there. Mm -hmm. And it shows that both of you are still fighting, in fact. On my end, I'm still currently I'm currently stuck in the lobby, so I will not be able to view the rest of this battle, it seems. That's fine. I'm so bad at video games. Imagine being good at video games. Couldn't be me. It just occurred to me that the ships that the uh, jellyfish pirates are living on have been renamed to the May ships. I didn't get to watch the entirety of the Guilty Gear anime that's included with the game, so I'm not aware of this. May doesn't appear in it. Does May, like, own the Jellyfish Pirates now or something, or what? I don't know. She doesn't appear in it. Really? Yeah. I saw a clip of her appearing in, like, one of the side story things where Sin talks about how he was born. Perhaps, yeah, that's gotta be a side story or something, because Sen's not in it either. Yeah. It's in one of the uh, episodes he released after he was released, where they were talking or something, and then Sin had this whole conversation where he told people how babies were made, and it was certainly in an interesting uh, side story, to be sure. Can you get back into spectating? I could probably try. One second. Spectate match, wait for an opponent, spectate while waiting. Okay. It shows Let's that the uh, it shows that the Kuro lost and you guys are still fighting and No, well, that's weird. It did not put you in spectating. No, it did not. Hey Lisby, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to the stream. We're just playing some guilty memes. Well, the servers kicked me out of the ob of the spectator mode, so I'm just fucking around in training matchmaking until it is my time. How are you doing tonight? I was watching some scenes from the Zard anime, and I was kind of impressed. Some of the storytelling is actually fairly decent. I'm not doing the best, but you're managing. And now that is certainly the mood of all time. Neither am I. Let us be best. Uh, we're, doing, we're not doing very well, but we're managing buddies together. While I practice doing command grabs as me, in the hopes that I can do this consistently. When you practice a character and you get discouraged with 
how long it's taking you to get good. Over time, you will eventually look back at your character and look back at the moves that you can pull off with such with ease. And you'll remember when you used to think, I will never be able to get this done, get this. Now, I will admit, switching to lever has made some moves easier. I find it infinitely easier to do orcas for some fucking reason. It's just like night and day now. I think having a heavier spring helps a little bit in this regard because I am less in danger of my stick just flying everywhere. So what I used to do is I would do it and then it would shove off to the top and do this instead, right? It's All on right, you're up, Charmy. Okay. Eric Lulz. Both names are correct. As long as people don't confuse me with the VTuber Stormy. <laughs> See, I'm I'm just sort of upset that I'm I've played a lot of Kai. You can play Dokro. Okay. Uh, I've played a lot of Kai, but it's like that's the only character I'm good at because of how much time I've spent. I mean, that's how it is, isn't it? I can't play anyone except me now, except maybe a little bit of Bridget. I can't play Soul to play my, to spare my life for some, but so, for some reason I could find play a little bit of Kai. Uh, I just watch my replays and my reflexes are just so slow. Mm -hmm. Like even even watching him play Bedman against you, um, he was doing stuff that I was trying to do, but I was my fingers aren't fast enough. Mm -hmm. Like block the slide to K2D. I kept trying to do that, but you kept hitting me because I don't press buttons fast enough. Even that, that's not even a difficult maneuver. Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty standard way to beat Maze Slide. Did you pull us? Wow, we're not even 50. It was only been 15 minutes and you already did a special. Jesus. I don't know how to beat Leo. <laughs> I don't either, because to be fr frankly honest, most of the Leos I played against, outside the VTubing community anyway, were hot garbage. You could tell that they were just button mashing. All the Leos I play that actually know how to fight against, who actually know how to play Leo, are just monsters. And I know that could be said about a lot of characters, but I don't know. I mean, Leo is just like... Everyone just sort of accepts that he's the best character in the game. Don't you mean... I guess for Americans, Happy Chaos is the best character, is the most broken character in the game, right? And the Japanese, meanwhile, yes, fucking got... hate Soul. <laughs> Umi Show got destroyed in Evo Japan, though. Yeah. Because to the Japanese, Happy Chaos is a mid-character. <laughs> Or Arc World. Yeah, he got destroyed at Arc World and then um Gobo won Evo Japan with Zato. And he was schmixing the final round, it was just like his opponent forgot how to play. Pretty much. Crazy. Who's another uh fam famous Zato player? Um Latif or something? He's yeah. he's fairly good at Zato too. But Gobo is um he was gold. I don't know if he picked up Zato, but I've only seen him play Zato recently. He was like the big gold Lewis player in tournaments. And he's been using Zato as his alt. What the fuck did I just do? And can I do that again in the future? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a 4D chess move just then. <laughs> you didn't know you could do that? I did not know you could do that. <laughs> I see that all the time. You only cancel the Orca and it keeps going. I know that the best May players tend to be super fucking tricky with with other with people. Tend to be really trollish, but I cannot. I'm not good enough at May to take advantage of the fucky wuckies like that. Oh my god. 
Oh, well, victory is a victory. <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> oh my fucking god. I did not know you could do that. It makes sense why you could do that, because they block the first hit from the Orca. You go around, you hit them out of guard, you hit them out of guard, and then they get hit by the second attack from the Orca, second hit from the Orca. But, I don't know. I love how, even, as, even spending 230 hours in this game, there's still shit that you can learn about Strive. About, like, and I feel like a lot of good fighting games are like that, where... There's always, there's all, every time you think that you know everything about the game, there's probably a lot more depth to it that you still are not aware of. Tekken is disgusting like that too, actually. I've just sort of accepted that I got back into things too late and I'll never be good at fighting games. Who's to say that you're too late anyway? Is this going to be the year of the fighting games? There's going to be a lot, there's like a fucking dozen new game, fighting games coming out this year. And, I mean, Strive is going to be around for a while. No way Arxis is going to pass up the opportunity to make more money off of people by re-releasing -re characters from Zard. I mean, tell, uh, what was it, CLG? Who? The, um... It was like a big fighting game tournament. They ran a bunch of games, but they got acquired by another company and slashed everything but League of Legends. Oh, well, that's garbage. So it was like a pretty big, like, Strive, Street Fighter, uh, CSGO, Call of Duty. They ran all these games and they got acquired by a, they just got acquired by a company that shut down everything but League. That's fucking garbage. Another reason to hate Riot, I suppose. But then again, no, there... it wasn't Riot, it was, um, I think it was Madison Square Garden. No, I mean, whoever... Oh, okay, so it wasn't... It's not being owned by the people who, who run League of Legends, then. What's Madison Square Garden? Some corporate outfit or something? The, um, you know, the big garden in New York? Yes. That's Madison Square Garden. What, they're a company, too, or something? Yeah, they sponsor a bunch of, like, real sports. I am? And they've been getting into esports recently, I mean... Until this. I mean, I don't even consider League of Legends a fighting game, so... Well, no, I it's don't. not a fighting game, but they slashed everything. They slashed a bunch of, like, shooters, too, like Apex. Um, Apex, CSGO. It seems to me like they probably just were, were, went to the marketing department and was like, Yo, uh, esports, yeah, those kids, those, those uh, sports that have ease that kids are playing these days, what's the most popular game? And they're like, um, well, uh, some, something about kids these days really like them MOBAs. And they're like, okay, what's the biggest MOBA? Uh, League of Legends? Yeah, okay, um, we're just gonna play nothing but League of Legends. I'm just making shit up, obviously. I don't know anything about this... <laughs> Or anything, but I'll fight you, Lulz. I might be getting the news story wrong, but that's mm -hmm. the gist. Like, um, there's actually I didn't realize before VTuber fighting game stuff. I didn't realize there were actually a lot of different tournaments, and so I thought Evo was like the only big one for a while, and then. I heard about Combo Breaker in Chicago, and then I heard about all these little ones nationwide. And it's like, they almost seem like mini conventions in some ways. Or, they are conventions, I should suppose. They're conventions that just happen to have a tournament. Tournaments that happen to have a convention attached, as opposed to conventions that have happened to have a tournament attached. Yeah, EVO is the big, like, multi-game one. Because Combo Breaker is... Combo Breaker is just Street Fighter, right? Or is it Street Fighter and... Um... Nope. They play a lot of fighting games. They have around, like, a dozen or so this year. Of which Strive is up there, and also some older titles like Zart. Like, uh, I think Third Strike is probably up there. But that's a Street Fighter game, but... I don't remember if they have Melty Blood. I just remember they had a variety of fighting games. Nano Machine, son. There's one year at Dragon Con where they actually had a Guilty Gear Strive tournament. And I wasn't 
too big into Strive at the time, so I didn't join it. And even if I did, even if I was, it's not like I had a gamepad or a stick at the time. But I'm hoping that stuff comes back to Dragon Con this year or in the future years, so I can join up on that too. If there's one this year, I don't care how badly I'm going to do. I'm gonna, I'm literally gonna go to it in the May costume <laughs> and just play like that. Just for the meme. Oh fuck, I thought I grabbed you. Guess not. Did I just do a safe jump? I, I'm still... the. I'm trying to... I've watched some YouTube videos about doing safe jumps, and the concept still kind of eludes me a little bit. Maybe I'm overthinking it. It's just, um... So... Dog, or grab is active at frame 2, right? Yes. And, um... Sure, you can are... Um... They're invincible, but they don't become active until frame like four or five. The crew right? says a safe jump is a jump that is safe. I hope that helped. Yeah, see, hey, it helped a so lot. I'm, the crew. So Sorry, I'm go on. To explain it. That's so, the, yeah. The idea is you jump in and do a air attack, where you're still in the air during wake up grab timing, but you hit the ground and are blocking before um, wake up shore. You can. So it's a timing thing then, and it is, but it's a lot easier to time than it sounds, depending on character. Really, because I looked up some safe jumps from me, and I was surprised because they all were, took the form of combos. I thought they were just going to be like, oh, okay, so push this button, and time it right as they're waking up. But no, it was like, oh, do this move to put them into a down state, and then go into like with a. And apparently you could do it with a lot of moves. You can't just you don't need to just do it with jumping H. Ah. No. Bruh. Bruh, I couldn't fucking purple RC out of that. Oh. I was gonna try and retreat or retreat dash RC and yeah. Still worked, I guess. DPs will be the end of me, I swear to fucking god. Yeah, it was the second attack. Why didn't, my, why didn't my reversal come out? Uh, I don't. You might have been hit by the wave. I first. tried to wake up, ride the lightning. Mm. This game acts in mysterious ways sometimes, doesn't it? Wow, well, it's probably my inputs. Like um, round start right there. Mm -hmm. Um. Stun Dipper's supposed to just straight up beat Dolphin, but we traded because I'm bad at inputs. Rip. We're done here. Right, and uh, that's a super I didn't mean to do. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder why it didn't go over you that time. For some reason. What do you mean it didn't go over me? The last time I did that to you, uh, Wake Up Orca, 
or Orca, when you were trying to wake up, I literally went over you and you got hit by the wave from the opposite side, which is what killed you. But that time, you blocked the first one, but then you didn't. I didn't go over you and you blocked uh, the second I was, one. I was standing blocking. Oh, okay. Bruh. Consider my ankles sliced. Oh shit. Oh my god. You thunderstriked me out of an orca. What the fuck? Oh, I won? <laughs> Yes, yes, I you did. I, I thought I died because I got the wrong move out. You fucking flew into the air, blocked the first attack from the orca, and then thunderstruck me off of the orca to the ground. I was trying a uh, vapor thrust again. My God. No! My burst has been baited! Unforgivable! Ow. I mean, I wasn't baited, I just, uh... Don't Shh. know what the next part of that combo is. Shh. You totally baited my... goddammit. <laughs> Today I learned I can actually jump over the uh, low-level fireball if it's timed properly. Then again, the timing is kind of sus on that, so I probably shouldn't rely on that anyway. To do what? Okay, so that was a standing block then, not a lower block. Fucking ankle slicer, I swear to god. I wonder if anyone's going to produce a Mecha May mod. That would be kind of fun. Oh People shit. Want... People want Robo May in the game. Yeah. So is Robo May like actually a thing from the previous games or were they like a joke? No, she was in the um... She's one of the Strive mascots on social media. Okay. There was a, the lore recap was uh, May and Robo May. <laughs> oh, fuck. I thought I got a corner hell just then. GG's? <sighs> we got one more fight. It is best of three. Kill your friends. Guilt free. You still sick from the uh, previous night? You said you ate something wrong or something? I think I have a slight fever. Oh. I think I'm just regular sick. I don't know if it was food poisoning. Hmm. I think if it was food poisoning, you would actually, you would be, you would be well aware of it was food poisoning. To be honest, you hear that or a stomach flu? In either case, well, stomach flu debilitates you to the point where you don't want to get out of bed for a while. Food poisoning just I mean, makes you upchuck. Uh, felt all day. Oh, possibly stomach flu then. Of course, it also passes very quickly, so. Ah! Bruh. We're done here. Ride the lightning! 
Consider my lightning ridden. Damn it! <laughs> and I was blocking that too. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't matter. It was chipped. GG's. Yep, it appears my memes have ended here. That's the end of the stream chat. Rip, rip, rip. Kidding. <laughs> the crew is once again up. Spectate match, spectate match, match. Leo versus Kai Kiske. Do, 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 do. This matchup's just two dads fighting. Pretty much, yeah. The battle of the of the dad bods. Push the stick that pushes back and feel. Yo, I would take Kai's dad bod any day. Yeah, no kidding, right? Kill your friends. I really like these Metal Gear mods that I got installed. <laughs> I was thinking about adding... There's more mods than this, obviously. There's one for the Potemkin. There's one that turns uh, Giovanna into that one chick with the eight arms or whatever. But... Mistral. Yeah. I want to. I think they are working on Potemkin's voice at our uh, Potemkin's uh, voiceovers next, so I really want to install that. Damn. I That's really. Active for a while, isn't it? Huh? That's active for a while, isn't it? Yeah. His back turn counter. Mm hmm. It's his back turn counter just gives me AIDS, I swear. <laughs> nice, though. Bruh. I don't know what happened there. Hmm. <laughs> nice crap. I heard you could grab him out of that uh, back that back dancing stuff, but I've never been able to pull it off. No, I'm dead. Maybe I was wrong about you. That's insane. Kill your friends. Guilt free. Thunder, thunder. That is not what I hit. Nice DP. Kill your friends. Guilt free.
Oh. Killed your friends. Guilt free. Pog. Very nice. That was almost like a boss battle ending cutscene just there. If I must kill to protect them. <sighs> kill your friends. Guilt free. Uh, oh, I, I meant to Sacred Edge. Yeah, I don't know how to beat Leo. You're doing just fine, all things considered. I mean, he just kills you if he gets in the back turn. Mm -hmm. All his projectiles beat all my projectiles. Except for your charged one anyway. No, his charge beats my charged. No. See? Oh, what the fuck? Huh. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you then. To be honest. <laughs> I mean, I'm just bad at video games. Rar. I'm gonna call it a night. Alright, thanks for coming and for playing video. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. Oh. Guess it, we're, I guess we're done playing uh, in the lobby tonight. 
we'll head back to go find people to play against in the actual tower. Thank you everyone for coming. It was fun. <laughs> if anyone else would like to play more guilty memes in the private lobby tonight, let me know and we will set something up. We did start stream a little bit late tonight, and by a little bit late I mean extremely late tonight. So I can't imagine that we will be up that are up for that long. Probably a maximum of three hours. Which is our typical streaming time anyway. Also depends on whether or not I get burned out of guilty, of guilty memes before them. I wonder if I feel comfortable to play some uh, ranked matches for a little bit, or if I, if we can even get a ranked match hit for that matter. Welcome. Really would like to move off to ni floor 9 eventually, you know? Sure would be nice. I'm sure it'll come eventually anyway. GG's. Don't mind me just giving myself a hydrate redeem. And we're excited for tomorrow's uh, Q and A. Ill to match with opponent. Uh, something tells me the next half an hour or so is going to be nothing but that. Honestly. Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I wasn't even waiting for a match anymore. It kicked me out. Alright, let's see if this works. Soul meme guy. Well, ain't that lovely? Fucking Milia. I'm still bad against Milias. See if this dual station works. I can't believe they're calling them dual stations, like this is freaking Yu-Gi-Oh or something. This one looks shaky. A Geo player, cool. No neutral, no hosts, cool.
kill your friends guilt free Why did I burst early? Nerves, man. They're fucking me up. That was terrible. Killed your friends. Guilt free. What is wrong with me right now? Honestly. Fucking grab. Nice. I can't even complain about that. But I'm still playing like garbage. Something is wrong. I swear. What is wrong with my stick? Oh, you gotta be fucking shitting me. Is it loose again? Why does it always happen- have to happen on stream? And also... When I'm trying to do something like a ranked match. Honestly. Oh my god. Yeah, something is fucked. Disappointing.
And we're back to floor 7. Thank you very much, Stick. We're gonna take a short break while I fix my arcade stick. Yep. Those fucking brass screws. I don't understand what the hell is the point of using these things. They just constantly fall apart like that. Now, where do I put... Where do I put the... Where did I put the screws that I bought... The uh, X keys that I bought just for this. Just like it's been giving me nothing but problems. Oh great, I chose the wrong one. That's just that's just great. That's just fun. I chose the wrong screen. Awesome. Thanks for the head pad, M boy. Go ahead and refund that though, because there's no point using the head pad re emoji or head pad redeem if there's no 3D model on the screen, right? Of course, you respond to that by giving me another headpad. Yes, thank you. 
The emoji headpads are fine because you don't waste points that way. Thanks. If you're wondering why I'm on AFK but still talking to Mike, it's because my fight stick has fallen apart again. Same reason as last time too, the fucking screws. Oh, and I'm a fucking dumbass. I forgot to pull this out. The... The... Whatchamacallit? The... Lover out. Yeah, quality. That did not just fucking happen. Really? Gee, I wonder what else I broke. Awesome. Like a shard of metal here. Hope that doesn't fuck anything up. Ayo, it's time for a sponsor moment. Where the fuck are my hex keys? I'm to a rage if I lost my You know, the geo wasn't even bad, but I hate when shit like this happens because you start gaslighting yourself being like, Am I being am I bad? Or something wrong, and in this case, I could tell several times where I was trying to pull out maneuvers and it was not happening. So, in this case, no, I was not going crazy. My fight stick was going to shit again. Check Disco and get excited? Sure, give me a second here. I apologize to everyone, lur to anyone that's lurking or watching. Uh, my fight stick has disassembled itself once again, so that's why we're currently in break until I can fix it. Oh, that's cute. Good job. Regarding the uh, thing you have in the DMs. I'm glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Yeah. I'm not being sarcastic, by the way. I am glad to see that you managed to get it to work. That's another thing you could also sell to people. I do not mind being your. I do not. I do not mind being your um, test or your uh, test subject either. I greatly appreciate all that you've done for me. But I think you already know that, don't you?
I'm starting to understand why the stock Samoa sticks usually come with these screws cemented on. Try to prevent something like exactly like this from happening. Also, I'm kind of a pussy when it comes to tightening things because I always hear horror stories about people over tightening screws and it fucks up the whole thing if it ever breaks and they have to replace the whole thing. But this is also kind of ridiculous, so hopefully it lasts a little bit longer now without the screws just falling the fuck out. The, um, what came loose are the little brass uh, screws that hold the universal mounting plates to the uh, fight sticks internals, you know, like the um, like the uh, switches, like the like the harness, all that good shit. Hey Venta, did you want to play today? How are you doing? Yeah, I'm tightening them up fairly hard this time because this is kind of ridiculous. I can't, I don't want to be, I lost a fucking, I, that, the Geo I just played was good, but I can't help but feel like I was robbed of a, of a fair match because of my fight stick deciding to fall apart just then and there. There's a question, did your Twitter get hacked or is you are just at unhinged on Twitter? Um... Do you mean recently, or did you mean, like, a week ago? If you mean, like, today, earlier today, earlier today I was having a bad day, so... And I, for once, I took it out on Twitter. But if you mean last week... If you mean last week, then it was not, it was not being hacked. It was me running an ARG, because I'm a story writer. I was doing, I was basically, I was doing a lot of role-playing on Twitter. So all the stuff like the Zalgotex and the pictures and stuff, that was actually me. The storyline was that Lulz had disappeared and had been replaced by these evil, malev these uh, malevolent AI who were all vying to take over their account and stuff. You will replace the entire stick if it breaks, those screws never come off. Yeah, exactly. Well, they're not completely permanent screws. They're basically the things that attach that if you need to replace the mounting plates, you attach, you change those. And also, if you ever have to change things like um the basically if you're cha if you're changing out the um the pivot and stuff, you have to remove those because that's what they're connected to. Yeah. No problem, Ventahack. As you can see, I am totally here now. I just had my re-debut on Saturday, last Saturday. And that was basically the culmination of the ARG, the re-debut. Re Okay, the screws are firmly tightened this time, and I don't know if they're over-tightened or whatever. I don't even know what it means to over-tighten something, really. I'm assuming over-tightening is when you tighten them to the point where you have to, like, use force, or, like, extreme force, just to get it to turn. But hopefully, they'll last longer this time. When you tighten them so much, they cause the mounting plate to warp. Okay, so it's not... The mounting plate is not warping, they're, but they're definitely a lot tighter than they were last time. Or the threads break. Well, the threads definitely haven't broken either because it's, fa it's, fairly, it's fairly firm now. So, we should be good, right? Once I get this back in, we're going to be playing more Strive tonight.
Need to get you some Threadfast. Is that the thing that... Because... It's not like I want these things to be... Oh, Loctite. I mean, it's not like I want these things to be permanent, right? What if I decide to... I don't know. Yeah, I suppose that just means I'll get a, have to get a new lever assembly, but the uh, modified parts like the pivot and the um, thing that holds the switches on in there and all that stuff, that was like 30 bucks. I would like to recycle those if possible because they cost more than the actual lever. The lever itself is only like $21 at most. But yeah, That is true. If I just assemble it myself, it's cheaper. If I buy all them, all the parts separately. And it's not like I don't know how to put these together now. I've done it so many times. I legit know this low, no lever, assembling lever, levers like the back of my hand. It's fairly simple. Or just get another stick. I have, I mean, I could use the other sticks, but... I have to relearn how to place drive with them because they're not as tight. They you they don't have they don't have two pound springs in them. I guess I could just pull out the two pound spring out of this one and put them in, say the uh, I could put them inside the inside the TE two plus, and then call it a day. I was actually thinking. I can't afford to do this right now, obviously, but I'm thinking about buying a Golden Lover and putting it in the TE2. Yeah, I know cents are fairly cheap. I could just buy more springs. I'm not allowed to buy the golden lever, and why is that? That feel when the golden lever itself is actually costs almost as much as a used fight stick. Because you're buying it? Alright, fine. I'll let you buy it first so you can determine whether it's as good as they say or not. And then I'll follow suit later. That's sweet of you, Vemboy, but you know you don't need to do that, right? From the reviews I saw, it seems like universally people seem to like the Golden Lover. The Hongo Gamer did a nice review of it, and he seems to think it's okay. Better than okay. He seems to think it's great. God, you better not be ordering it now. All right, fight stick is back online, but I'm still going to be feeling the burn from being knocked back to fucking floor seven because of my stupidity. But hey, just have more people. I just have more, another more motivation to get back to floor eight, right? And all 28 plates so you could pick your tension. Holy shit. I was wondering, I was probably, if I ever got the Golden Lever myself, I'm probably going to get the Japanese version, but you know what? I'm intrigued about Korean-style levers. I wonder what it would be like to use one of them. I think the uh, Street Fighter 3 arcade that I was playing that up in Seattle was using a Korean fight stick because it felt gummy. It felt different. It did not feel like a spring. It felt like a rubber um, grommet. All golden lovers Korean. Yes, I know they're manufactured by Korean by a Korean company, but they just come with different balls. Their internals are different too, though. They they specific they specifically specify one of them is Japanese style, another is Korean style, another is 
They all use rubber grommets. Which is Korean. Yes, I know that the Japanese use springs and the Koreans use grommets. But I thought they had some var variations that used... I thought they had variations that used springs in the Golden Lover too. It's a good thing I still have ASMR in my tags. This is Femboy Fight Stick, or Femboy Fixes Your Fight Stick, that fixes your fight stick ASMR right here, chat. I hope you can hear the sound of me screwing. Screwing this uh, fight stick back together. It's just a lighter grama with a round head, as far as you know. That's interesting. Fuck is. But they're always expanding. Yeah. That uh, Golden Lover company does good business, honestly. Some of the more expensive fight stick companies, I'm kind of wondering if maybe they're taking advantage of them, of their clout, and possibly just, you know, overcharging and stuff. Like, a lot of people accuse Hitbox of doing that, and you, you know the stuff, you know the shit's going on with Hitbox. Quality over quantity? Yeah, I agree with that. I also like um, Golden Lover's motto. Their whole belief in the best fight stick is actually the one that's customized to your specific preferences. Hitbox is trying to gain a monopoly scum. Yeah, they totally are. I don't think that their lawsuit's going to go anywhere, though. Some people say that if Hitbox tr actually tried to copyright that specific style, all it's going to do is convince Hori, and it's going to convince like the other the actually big fight stick manufacturers like Hori, to do some countersuits and shit. And no one wants that, right? So far, the big fighting stick makers have been leaving everyone else alone, leaving all the mom and pop shops alone. Oh, oops, sorry. I hope you, I hope that wasn't that loud. The fuck? Oh dear. All right, stick is nice and firm again, and it's working properly again. Cool. Let's get back to guilty memes strive, shall we? I am fucking dumb. I did not even plug in my stick yet before pushing. Well, that's fast. I can give myself a hydrate redeem really quick. <laughs> All right. It's time for Lawler's Road to F Back to Floor Fucking Eat arc. Man, I get so toxic when I'm playing Strife. It still fucks me up that people actually enjoy the toxicity, a VTuber toxicity. Uh, or if not toxicity, then VTuber rage. Are you fucking with me right now? Okay. It was just it was just fucking with me. Uh 
Venta, if you're still watching, if you want to play, let me know. We'll do some matches. Otherwise, I have some grinding to do. Assuming I could get a game. Assuming a game can even be run. Ah, uh, this guy is also a dank memer, it seems. That's the impression I get from his profile, anyway. Any moment now, game, come on. Would be nice. For fuck's sake. Hey Millie, welcome to the stream. 
Then boy, can you please give him a re I uh, give him a exclamation raid for the whatchamacallit? Because it's clear we're not gonna get a match anytime soon. There we go. How goes the Giller of the Guilty variety? Not very good. Um, I just lost a placement match because my fight stick fell apart. Half the servers still, more than half of the servers still don't work, and yeah, that's certainly a thing. Otherwise, what few games that we can get are fairly fun, and I'm glad to be playing Strive again, having been gone for since January or so. It says here you're playing a rogue. Uh, it doesn't say. Oh, you're playing Shadowverse. How's that going? Thanks for the raid, by the way. I appreciate it. Is all right. We were just doing the Mika collab. Oh, that's cool. Lulz would be too powerful if his fight stick were in one piece. Yeah, probably. Who knows? Honestly, I'm half tempted to uh, sunset this stick and just focus on the actual fight stick fight sticks that I purchased off eBay recently. I'll probably just swap out one of the springs and call it a day. Well, not just the springs. Also, I'd like to, you know, swap out the lover itself. The, uh, the lover itself. The uh, ball top. Make it nice and pretty. Why even keeps declining? They're not declining. It's not that people are afraid to fight me. It's that when they try to connect, it auto fails. Because of fucking server issues. It's been like this for weeks now. I was hoping that they would be gone by the time Bedman gets released, but nope. Like, see, this guy, uh, swag, this uh, swag, swag420 player, they've been trying to match with me so far, but it's not letting them connect. Little Caesar's fight stick, yeah. Yeah, same as hep, what happened to you. See, as you can see here, this is also another person that was trying to fight against me, right? I'm starting to wonder if maybe in this case, it's not the servers that are having the problem. It's maybe, for whatever reason, I can't connect with them, themselves. I'm assuming the I'm assuming these are all Xbox players too because they're all low level or they're around my level. Which I'm glad that thanks to Xbox crossplay that I get a lot more balanced matches now, but I would really like for all of them to work. Car name, but yeah, that's my favorite Guilty Gear character. Yeah, I know, right? They sure speak a language I don't understand though. Well, see, I think that might just be my version of the game, because it's not doing that for anyone else. I'm, I think... Vemboy thinks it's because my graphics drivers are un, are, aren't updated, but I think it has something to do with the mods I have installed. I honestly don't know. In either case, the game works fine without, even with the placeholder text. Modding compatibility, maybe? Yeah, maybe. The Pepsi Man mod introduces some weird errors into my game. Like, notice here that the wanted picture is not showing up. It doesn't just do that for Bedman. It does that for a lot of other characters, too, where they just do not show up. Which, I don't understand why modifying the character model of one character would change it, would fuck up the avatar for everyone else, but apparently that's a thing. It doesn't actually affect gameplay, either. I can play just fine, in spite of some of the uh, graphical glitches. T 
TF2 coconut texture moment. Yeah, exactly. This is just Shrive's version of the purple and black check mar or checkered pattern. Might be something with the bundle not getting updated since you had mods installed before the update, I don't know. Later, I'm going to do a- I'm going to verify the installation of Strive to see if there's any missing files or something. Or maybe I'm- I was planning on changing- swapping out some mods- some of my mods anyway, so maybe I'll just sunset the Pepsi Man skin. I love Playboy May, but I'm thinking about installing the May mod that just has her with spats and a crop top hoodie. It looks kind of cute. It even says, you notice that how the avatar for Pepsi Man, it says Pepsi, it's just a bunch of text that says Pepsi Man needs an update. I wonder why it's doing that anyway, like... Why would you install, why would you offer a mod which has in it saying that the mod needs an update? It feels like the only way to play this game now is to look for people that are clearly able to play in dual stations that aren't fucking broken, wait for them to get done, and then steal their dual station. And E now. Going to get some leftovers, low seizures, be right back, no problem. Alright, I'm starting to actually get kind of pissed. Trying to- this is the worst it's ever been, Al Chimpone. Like, actually the worst. In the upper levels and even in the parks, it was fine, but I got knocked out- but knocked back down to floor 7, in part because my fight stick fell apart. And now, I've spent the past 15 minutes trying to get a fucking game, and even when people do get to this point where it's like versus, it still craps itself. Is this person from South America? Uh, finally, finally, chat, we finally got a game. And it's against, uh, Abed. 
How are you doing today, by the way, Al? Welcome to the stream. Huge, yeah. If you want to play some matches later tonight, let me know. Oh, uh, yep, they're definitely from South America. Wow, I am trash. Let's do some sets. Cool. Alright. Let me play a few ranked matches first to get my... to hopefully improve my LO. And then we'll play some matches. Ah, I fucking fucked up the timing. Why did I waste that Orca?
Fuck me. That was disappointing. What the fuck was that? Kill your friends, guilt free. Alright, here we go again. We're gonna spend another half an hour just trying to get a fucking match. Yeah, no fucking shit. I would much prefer it if they just delayed the fuck out of Bedman until, I don't know, the fucking December or something. And as if it meant that the servers would get fixed faster. Because what the hell is the point in releasing new content for this game if no one can play? I mean, sure, okay, you could play after you spend a good, like, half an hour um, trying to get a match and you randomly get a server or a dual station that's not fucked in the ass. It's a rare time that I get salty live on stream, and of course it would be about technical issues that have nothing to do with the actual gameplay.
Oh, what is it now? I can't believe I'm actually considering dropping Strive over this. I have like no interest in Dragon Ball Z. If Venboy is able to join this game, we're going to. All right, so there. So, it's not the person's connection. It's the servers. The servers are fucking shit. The servers are almost as shit as the fucking Titanfall servers when you're constantly being DDoSed by one group. Because Venboy and I can get into a fucking private match and it worked just fine. I don't understand why private matches work differently from the rank matches. Like... But at least those work, I guess. Because they are more important than the floor rank. Because the floor rank shit, let's be honest here, it's just it's just to it's just to show off your EP. -ing. The player match shit is where it's really at because then you could actually play with fucking play with your fucking friends. What it's bad for is you can't play with randoms online. So a desync. I don't know what that means in this context. Yeah, I'm accepting too. It almost feels like it's people have to throw fucking dice and they have to roll the exact same number as each other to get a fucking game. Oh, see there. It only took us three or four tries. So that's a uh, what? A uh, 25% right there. 25% chance to actually get a game playing with the same person. Unless it crashes right here, of course.
friends, guilt free. I what? Push the stick that pushes back. No, my mic's not muted. I'm just not talking. I'm honestly too pissed off right now to do the Spider-Man routine. Honestly, I was kind of on defense about even streaming tonight because I was just in such a shitty mood that... Like, what, what the even is the point? Sure, fucking streamers raging on stream might be entertaining to some people, but it's only entertaining if it's about really dumb, pointless shit. When people are actually angry and it just changes the atmosphere of the room, there's like, why did you even bother coming into work today, dude? Not sure if you notice or notice or not, but people don't exactly go online to see people rage about dumb shit unless it's like funny dumb shit, the sort of dumb shit that no one in their right mind would actually be angry over. It's fucking entertaining to see people rage about fucking video games because it is so petty and dumb. It's like, you're raging about a thing that's meant for entertainment. So of course you look fucking stupid. Getting angry about. But like, getting angry, but like, why the fuck do you even bother getting online if you're just going to be angry about dumb shit which has nothing to do with the reason people came over, you know? Is it out of some fucking obligation that, oh, you, tell, you told people that you're going to have this going on this evening, so you feel obligated to perform? Because otherwise people are going to feel cheated? What's the bigger cheat? Coming in with a shitty attitude to work? Or cancelling? And telling people, hey... Don't worry, I'll come back when we can do things right. I guess the problem becomes... When you end up never doing the right thing, you just keep giving yourself excuses to not show up. And in that case, I feel... It's better to show up even if you're in a shitty mood, then to get into the habit of always finding a fucking excuse to not show up at all. People are paying for the shit, you know? And God bless their souls if they end up understanding that sometimes you just can't be... You just can't play the part all the time.
Nice gold burst, actually. I don't know why it considered that a gold burst, because you clearly knocked me out of the thing. You got all your tension back, so... I need to stop doing that. I'm getting in the habit of constantly trying to wake up orca people, but it's one of those things where you see it once or twice and you're never going to be able to pull it off again on someone. You can still find a way around it. I'm fucking pissed about being knocked back to floor 7 because of that bad Geo match. Let's just make a fucking private room. So we don't screw up either of our LOs. Anyone no that would like to... Join up. The room code is 467140. I just realized that I can't fucking pin this from OBS. Great. You're done playing tonight? Alright. Oh, thanks. Thanks. So if anyone wants to play, feel free to pop into the room. What a shitty week. I wonder if tomorrow's gonna be any better. How the fuck did you damage your hand? Push this. Kill your friends. Guilt free. Fair enough. Bye bye. Kill your friends, guilt free.
the fuck did I just do? Oh my god. GG's Kill your friends Guilt free Really? <sighs> I tried to do an orca and it didn't come out and I was so shocked that I was just like losing, lost the will to live right there.
guilt-free. So why is there no desync when it's when we're playing on a private server? Like, I wish there was an answer to that or something. Push the stick. More cypers? What the fuck does that mean? And here's one that most of them kill your friends. Guilt free. It's not letting you join? What the fuck? What's it saying when you try to... Fail to connect to room? For fuck's sake. This game. Yeah, I don't know. Al, are you based in the United States? Alright, so it's not a country thing either. And I was just playing with Steel earlier too, so, and Dekuro is from... I forgot where Dekuro is from, I'm fairly sure they're either from Mexico or a different South South American country. So why the fuck would Al not be able to join, but we can play just fine. Let me try remaking the room. We'll have to wait for time to run out, I guess. Alright, let's remake the room. Wrong button. That's fine.
All right, try joining this one. Juju Bean, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. We're playing some Guilty Gear Strive tonight. It's not failing very well. They did not fix the servers at all, so it is certainly a struggle of all time. Still, if you play Strive, you're welcome to join us for some pickup games. What time is it anyway? It's like 2 in the morning. Great. Normal arcs this moment not fixing the servers. I know, right? The fucking gall of them to go ahead and release Bedman and people have to struggle to even play the game is... I'm, I'm really fucking annoyed. I'm not usually like this. I, I I apologize. I'm actually I'm actually not a typically salty streamer at all. It's just in addition to the real world being shit and it's, it's not being a very long week. Just kind of looking forward to just taking out some stress on my favorite fighting game, but we can't even do that properly. But you know what? Whatever. Shit happens. Unfortunately, it looks like even private matches are being fucky-wucky tonight also, so we're trying to set up a room here to let follow- to let mutuals, friends, and randoms join in, and... What server am I on? I'm in, uh, US East. Still can't. The connection from the EU is probably going to be 100, 150 ping. I play my partners from Australia. And we play regularly, and if I could play with them just fine, I don't mind playing against people from Europe. Honestly. But, you know, first off, we would actually be able to access one of these fucking rooms. I was just playing with people with, with some other people from the US too. So I don't understand why it's not letting Al play, unless there's something fucky going on in the state. I'll just keep remaking rooms, I guess, until one of these things actually works properly. Oh, that's the wrong button. Honestly, as far as ping and rollback goes, Strive is fairly good at allowing people from across the world to play with each other. It's just that that seems to be where their network proficiency stops. Hmm, you may perhaps be right. You may be right. You may be wrong, too. We'll just have to find out, won't we? Alright, Al. Try using this one, see if this works. I would almost say, let's just go ahead and go to a park somewhere, but park is like a 1 in 4 chance of even working. Which is still better than a 0 chance of working, right?
What's my favorite Strive theme? That's a good question. Um, I'm really fond of Magnolia Claire. I really like uh, Melia Rage's theme, which is um, Love of Subhuman Self. Disaster of Passion is okay. I actually modded. Uh, I also I actually like Big Blue Sky or Big Big Ocean Big or Big Sky from the previous games, but I modded it in my version of Strive to replace it with Elfold's theme from Zard. If this doesn't work, chat, we're just gonna go to easy. Th we're just going to go to EC thirty nine. Take our chances with the fucky wucky dual stations. This stream is not brought to you by Gamersups, but Gamersups has some fairly delicious gamer juices. Vemboy was able to join just now. I do have crossplay enabled for the room. Because the last time I tried to turn off crossplay, it prevented me from playing any online matches, period. So you are pretty much forced to have crossplay on all the time if you want to play Strive Online. But let me check just to make sure. Al Champone tried to get into the room two other in two other instances of the room and still couldn't get in. And now Juju Bean says that I don't even show up, period, huh? Well that's just lovely. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to the park. Well actually try one more time, and if you still can't find me, we'll just go to the park. What the fuck? Different cross-platform play settings? Why does it do- Why do they need to make this shit so complicated? God. Room is set to PC only? Where did you read that? Whatever.
Is that the reason? Only players on the same platform as you can enter the room. Okay. Let's change it to that then and see how it does. What the fuck? Alright. Here we go. Thanks for the pin. I'm gonna fucking strangle something yet. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. Don't mind me, I'm just resending it back to the same platform. So I, since apparently that's the only way we could even fucking... So we're going to EC39, East Coast 39. I'll show you where we're heading, just to make sure. Uh, where the fuck, how do you do this again? Here we go, EC39, USC East Coast 39. Hey Al. Alright, here's the fun part, we get to figure out which one of these fucking servers actually- dual stations actually works. Oh hey, we got this far. Wow, great, awesome. I'm glad we fixed that. Jesus fucking Christ. Actually, the game is esports ready because you know what? When they play in esports, they're not gonna be doing it on online. Fuck no, they're gonna be doing it local, and local is great. So it's totally esports ready. This online shit is not esports. This is, I mean,
We're gonna try... Let's keep trying all these fucking dual stations until we find one that works. Because it's always like one. some of them work and some of them don't. So uh, I see there that Venboy and Al Chapone were able to play together just now. It's not even doing anything. So, that's great. Hey, Venta. This is truly the guiltiest gear of all time right here. This is the ultimate gameplay. This is the ultimate gameplay. As you can see, this is Guilty Gear is like the most platformer game of all time. This is going to knock out Super Smash Brothers out of the park. Believe it. Alright. Thanks for trying, Juju. Have a good night. Honestly, I'm kind of getting tired of shit. I'm thinking about just ending stream if I if I can, we can't get any more fucking matches. So I've already wasted enough people's time, you know. It's actually kind of it's actually kind of burning me raw that even Venboy and Ch Al were able to get a match before we could. That's really fucking sad. So, I guess it's not, it's probably not server based either because they're playing just fine on this dual station and I tried that already.
That's it. We're ending the stream tonight, chap. Sorry. Shouldn't have bothered tonight. I'll see y'all bright and early tomorrow morning. At around 10 a.m. CST. Gonna do some story reading. Do some question and answer about the arg I ran last week. And also, I think I'm going to be discontinuing Guilty Gear Strive until further notice, until this thing gets fixed. Or I'm just going to be playing it privately. Or with friends. Because this is fucking ridiculous. Honestly, this is fucking so fucking stupid. I can't believe they fucking released a new character. Went to all the effort of releasing a new fucking character. Most people can't even use the fucking character or use it in games because you have to ro roll a fucking pair of dice just to even get a match. Pardon my speech, but I am actually pretty fucking pissed off. Let's see who we can read tonight. At least you could still play private matches from here time to time. But even then, apparently you can't even play private matches with fucking everyone because just randomly people can't connect to them, even if they're in the same fucking country. Like, what is that shit? I almost kind of miss back when... I actually kind of miss back before they had crossplay for Xbox. Sure, there are fewer players, but at least the servers actually worked, you know? So fucking stupid. I can't believe I was actually planning to do a collab, a Guilty Gear Strive collab. Well, we're tossing that idea out. I'm not going to go through all the effort of organizing one of those things, only for us to spend a good two or three hours trying to get the things to fucking work. And it's going to sound ultra petty, but when I see other people being able to actually get games, it just hurts even worse, you know? I mean, I guess what else is new? It's not like a lot of shit isn't a matter of dice rolls anyway. We're going to be reading Inferno Chimp tonight. He did manage to get Strive to work and is currently playing. He's one of the best VTuber Strive players out there. Tonight's raid message will be... Ten viewers tonight. That's unfortunate. I'm sorry that I couldn't provide a better stream for you tonight, but I am just in a shitty mood. And this game is being really shitty. <laughs> That's alright. Inferno Chim will be able to better, to better entertain you. Not only that, but they're actually good at this game. So without further ado, we'll reconvene tomorrow. Morning at 10 a.m. CST. We're not going to be playing Guilty Gear Strife. We're going to be doing my other great love, which is storytelling. Hopefully after a good night's sleep, I'll be in a better headspace to do that more effectively. You won't have to listen to me yell and curse as much. Thank you for the headpads, fanboy. And y'all have a great night. Let's go ahead and hit the raid button, chat. Wait, actually, before I do that, one last time. Oh, the smell of the